It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're a subscriber, what's up? As you guys can see, today I'm not gonna do a long intro. You guys can see the unit, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys: is this unit worth your coins? Is it something you should buy? And also, I'm gonna give you guys some secret tips on how. I have been getting these raw flawless installs so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this wig and if you should buy it definitely keep on watching okay guys so today's install is gonna be from so Feel hair they did go ahead and sponsor this video today so thank you so much to so Feel hair I've worked with them before this is what their packaging looks like they have the basic cap some lashes and a eyebrow cutter so let's go ahead and get into this beautiful unit you guys see the color I love this highlight I'm so excited as y'all can see by the thumbnail we're gonna slay this wig so let's go ahead and get into it so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and cut out my ear tabs guys my wig cap game is getting so good my wig game in general this is by far one of my favorite installs i think i did so good there was only one thing i kind of stumbled on but besides that we're getting good over here okay so if i'm getting good i know y'all getting good so what I'm doing here is I'm taking my favorite glue, which is the Ghost Bond glue, and we are just going to outline the perimeter of our natural hairline. And then I'm going to take the flat side of this edge brush. I don't know what the, this little part of the edge brush is actually for, but it does a good job of smoothing out glue and taking out edge control. So maybe that's what it's for. But I'm just going to go ahead and use that and smush that into the cap of my skin. Once I dried that on a cool setting, then I went back in to reinforce it with my spray adhesive from Even and we are just going to spray that all over our hairline just so our cap stays secured now i'm going to cut this cap off with my schoolgirl scissors we're just going to go ahead and cut it and as you guys can see it looks so good my previous caps never look like this but now we getting good girl Next up, I'm going to take my cream foundation. I'm in shade 09. I mix from the medium to the lighter one, and we are just gonna put that all over the lace of the wig and then also on our cap so we can have that nice bald look. Go ahead and grab your alcohol. I use the 91% and I cleared off my forehead off camera. Very important to do. You want to remove all the oils from your skin. Also, you know, just the makeup that probably got on your forehead for your wigs to stay on. So if anybody do a little pulling for whatever reason, that's your business. You wanna make sure that wig is secure, pookies. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so next up, I just took my, um, my glue and I'm gonna do two layers but I took my ghost bond and I just put it on my perimeter and I smoothed it out and after everything is dry on a cool setting we are going to go ahead and place this wig I do my customizations off camera so I'm just lifting up the edges because you want the edge to be right covering the hair cap like the cap that we put on and then you want it to also be like right on the tip of where you put that glue if that makes any sense so yeah I just lift my edges back but you know everything is sitting how I want it to before I push anything down I'm just gonna cut off the excess lace for my ears And then now we're gonna finalize by pushing this wig in with a comb. I'm taking a rat tail comb and I'm just pushing the lace into my skin. You wanna push the lace and not the hair. This is what's gonna give us a scalp-like look. Next up, I'm going to take my elastic band and we are just going to tie her real tight. You want to leave it on for no less than 10 minutes, but I usually go longer than 10 minutes because I take this time to start flat ironing, not flat iron, but hot combing the perimeter of my hair. 
y'all know if you watch any of my hair tutorials the hot comb is so important to me so i'm just taking my time here and we getting it nice and flat and as you guys can see my plucking has got so good uh i've just been obsessed with these installs lately After I took my time hot combing it, then I'm gonna go back and take some um, a wax stick. This is the She's Bomb wax stick. And we are just gonna put that on the part and we're putting it on where we just like kind of hot combed. I do it two times. First I hot comb without the wax stick, then I go back in with the wax stick and I hot comb it one more time. And this is just ensuring that the wig is flat. We have no flyaways. It just looks so good. Next up, I just took my um, eyebrow razor and I'm just cutting the excess lace so I just kind of flip back my edges and I just cut the lace pretty close to the hairline as close as I can get then I'm going to take my even um, lace spray the 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 cap was not the cap the lace was already like kind of glued in and it looked good but this is just really to help with the meltdown it makes it look like scalp girl so don't skip this step you can use this spray or you can use a ghost bond but ever since i found even i have not went to ghost bond and i have no not ghost bond oh my god y'all i mean got to be glue spray like i'm sorry i'm all over the place but ever since i got with the even spray i don't use got to be glue anymore <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm cutting my edges at an angle, and then I take my pencil flat iron. And today, since my hair is straight, I'm going to curl it under. So when my hair is curly, I usually curl it up, but today is straight. So I want it, even though my edges were dramatic, I wanted my edges to be a little bit more, you know, not so fluffy. I want it to be a little bit more uniformed. So I curled it downward. And you can get this pencil flat iron for like $20 on Amazon. This is one of... This is one of my favorite investments for my wigs because I feel like my edges, they're coming out better. I will be dropping a edge tutorial very soon because I've been practicing y'all. But first, I comb my edges into the position I want them to go. Then I take my Gots to Be Glue Gel and then I just put that on the edges and then I just go ahead and just flick it back. I take a very long time on my edges, guys. I'm still practicing to get the look that I want. I know I'm, I'm getting really close to getting the look that I want, but I'll get there soon. Here, I'm taking out an extra edge. I typically only do two edges. I do the one closest to the part, and then I do my sideburn. But today, I wanted to try to squeeze in three. It was hard um, because I feel like I didn't have much space to do what I wanted to do. So I think next time... If I do three edges, you want to cut the middle piece a little shorter so it's not interfering with your sideburn piece. But trial and error, trial and error. But today's edges are a little bit dramatic, but they're super cute still. I'm going back in with that wax stick and my hot comb just to finalize our edges and have everything just, you know, just melting into one another. And then I did a little bit of layering, not much, just for the front because today I wanted to use a, I believe this is a two inch barrel, but I just wanted to use like a big barrel and I wanted that kind of like fun, loose kind of curl vibe thing. So that's why I did a little bit of layering, but it wasn't a lot, a lot at all. Like I just took some, you know, sheer scissors or razor um but yeah i'm just curling the hair i'm not gonna show you guys too much of me curling the hair i got this curler in a set from amazon and i love it it's it's a lifesaver i get a lot of different type of curl styles but today i wanted to do like a loose look and i think it looks so good but next up we're gonna just clean up our part so for today's part we're gonna go back in with that foundation i showed you guys in the beginning um i'm in color 09 like i said but i'm just taking that on a concealer brush and defining our part it was nice and skinny, but we just wanted to define it so it's like in your face. And then I'm going to take my rat tail comb, make sure it's nice and straight. And then we're going to take my black hairspray and just spray the rat tail comb right on the part. And this is just what's going to keep the part nice, tight, and skinny. As you guys can see, it looks real good. Um, the only thing is when I customize my wig off the canvas... The part was a little cricket, but it's not that noticeable. So yeah, this is the look. 
Alrighty guys, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In today's video, we did go ahead and review this unit that was sent to me by Sophie Hair. I completely love this hair. This color is everything. It's holding the curls very well. I am in love, y'all. Period. Get into it get into it yeah guys so if you guys are interested in purchasing this unit all the information will be linked down below in the description box that is it for me girls i'm about to get up out of here i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys